We just got a car back from trip number 21 and we have some more damages that we're going to have to see the cost of and if we are already covered uh depending on if we're paying for it or if it's coming out of the renter's pockets when it comes to this damage but let's go ahead and take a look at the first damage some scrapes here in this area here these are pretty deep another deep one here all the way across and then also on this flat end here and across the tire so new damages that we just saw this morning we just got the car back this morning literally like an hour ago and yeah so we noticed that so now we're about to head over to honda to see how much this is going to cost because nowhere really here on the island i've been uh trying to get some quotes nowhere here on the island seems to uh, repair this and so yeah i'm going to see if it's going to be easy to repair for honda or if we're going to have to see what a new rim is going to cost to get it replaced when i picked up our renters i dropped them off at the airport uh, they told me the car was great um, they did not tell me there was damage to the car and so it kind of sucks that you find out when you bring the car back to wash it take care of it but that's what we're going to do right now it's going to go through i'm going to go ahead and clean it go ahead and wash it pretty much get it ready uh, we don't have another rental for another three days but go ahead and get the car um, looking nice clean so we can see if there's any other damages and so we can head over to honda afterwards and try to get some type of uh quote or see if we are covered for the damage that has been done and about how much that's probably going to cost and if it can be taken care of at Honda. The rim is fixed, they sanded it down, um, then they painted over it, uh, probably took about an hour total about 40 minutes to complete it. The only thing is the paint is a little bit different than the stock paint that came on the rims, which it is okay. At least it doesn't have the scratches. And uh, let's go ahead and take it inside because it is hot and I'm sweating. And I'll go ahead and finish out the video on things that we learned about the damage to our rim that we had. As you saw in the last clip, the rim is now completed. Um, it is now fixed. And shout out to ProDent Hawaii. They are the ones that I reached out to on Yelp. And pretty much there's like this little section on Yelp and you can request a quote. So it, it sends you to a bunch of, or it sends your quote uh, request to a bunch of uh, companies or businesses. They ask me for either pictures or they automatically say that they were, they were not the type of business that handles rims. So uh, I was on Yelp. And I requested the quote from Prodent Hawaii. They told me 150. I told that to the renter. The renter was totally fine with paying the 150 because she saw that uh, there was damage done to the car as well. And luckily, there was not any headache. I did go ahead and process um, that there was damages on the Toro app. And at first, Toro I think gives you 14 days. If this happens again, I will uh, record so that you can see from step one. But I think it's 14 days that Toro wants you to uh, pretty much complete uh, the money exchange, the uh, repair, all of that. And if you're unable to come to a conclusion, unable to come to a resolution, then you can escalate it to Toro and you know whatever those, those steps are that involve uh, getting in Toro involved. Luckily, we were able to take care of it at the lowest level. The renter saw there was damage. She was willing to pay for it, and I provided her the quotes, which is exactly what I was given. I screenshotted that, sent it to her, told her one fifty, and uh, she sent that through I think Venmo, which is also what Toro um, allows you to pay if there is some type of damage uh, through some type of third third party. Um, PayPal, Venmo, things like that. So I don't have the paper with me right this moment, but there is one thing that we purchased, uh, one feature that we purchased with the vehicle, and that is some type of uh, like road care, road protection, I think is what it's called. That pretty much uh, was like $1,000. It was like $999. The way the dealership sells it to you is that it replaces your key, fixes your windshield, fixes dents, fixes uh, rims and tires. The thing is, Every time you file a claim to Honda to fix that stuff, technically it's free, but it will subtract from that thousand dollars 
of that feature. So if we would have gotten it done now, um, instead of the renter paying the uh, 150, if I would have pocketed that, got the 150, taken it to Honda, they would have fixed it, but it would have subtracted the value from that feature until it's down to zero. So I could probably go, uh, let me see, because a key I think is like worth $400 if you get a key replacement. Um, a dent is between 150 to 200, I believe it is, and then the rim, like they said, can range between two, 250 to 600 plus dollars. So, yes, they will fix the rims and tires, but it will be subtracted from that feature. So at this time, I did not use it because the renter took care of the bill. So that is something if you are purchasing, like I did from the dealer, uh, I guess that'd be some fine print to really figure out how many times you can use those special features that they try to offer to you, they try to sell to you when you purchase uh, like a lease vehicle, a new vehicle and things like that. I am going to go ahead and close the video out here. If you guys enjoy this video, if you learned something from it, go ahead and give this video a like, leave a comment down below, would really appreciate it. And yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to come out with more Toro videos. I think the next video is going to be April, May, June, July, August. So technically six months, it's almost six months that we've been on Toro. So I think it might be nice to have a six month update on our Toro progress, how much we've made, things that we learn, things like that. If you're interested in that, let me know down in the comment section below. Again, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.